Get ready for a love affair, a love affair with nature. You see, the Food for Wealth method works with Mother Nature. The Food for Wealth method it follows some very basic, natural, ecological principles so that it looks and acts just like a living, breathing ecosystem. You see, when you have a, a traditional garden, what you find is there are perfect rows of one type of vegetable and there are a lot of gaps between those vegetables. Now, those gaps, or bare soil, are what I would call empty niche spaces. Now, in nature, Empty niche spaces are not tolerated. Let's imagine you're in a pristine rainforest. If a big tree fell down and left a big bare space, what you wouldn't notice is there's hundreds and thousands of seeds just lying dormant, ready to burst into life. Now if you have a traditional vegetable garden and you have a lot of bare spaces, nature will not tolerate that either. Something will try to fill those empty niche spaces. Now, the most common thing that happens is that weeds do that job. Weeds are the ultimate empty niche space filler. If they weren't, they wouldn't be called weeds. Now, the way that we deal with this in the food for wealth method is we don't have empty niche spaces. We're gonna run these plots at full carrying capacity. And what we're also going to do, we're going to build up a seed supply in the soil. We're going to let some of the plants go to seed so that there's always thousands of seeds lying dormant in the soil. So if you remove a plant and you do create an empty space, there's something good there to fill the gap. Something good to fill that empty niche space. Because if you don't have something good there, then weeds will do it for you. Now there's another benefit for having a garden really planted thickly and running at full carrying capacity and that is it's producing a lot more. Now because it's producing a lot more you have to put a little bit into it as well. But I'm not talking about hard effort here, I'm just talking about compost. What we're going to try to do is set up a system so that when you bring nutrients into your life you keep them in your system and you put them into your garden through your composting system. And then you eat them, you eat the uh, plants, and then any waste goes back to your compost. So you're getting a nice nutrient flow, a nice cyclic flow. Now with a traditional garden, what, I, what you find is when these empty niche spaces get filled with weeds, the first thing the traditional gardener does is dig those weeds over. Now there's a few problems with doing that. What they're doing, is they're taking the dry, crusty, structureless soil that's lying on the top and they're turning it over and putting it underneath. And that soil underneath has got good structure, but now you're putting it on top and it's gonna dry out and it's gonna lose its structure. The problem was weeds, but now you've created a new problem. You created the problem of having structureless soil. Now structureless soil has its own problems. Firstly, it can't hold water as well as good structured soil. So you're gonna to have to put more water into your garden. Now the other problem it causes is it can't pass on the nutrients to the plants as effectively. So we started out with a weed problem and now we've got the problem of soil that doesn't hold water and we've also got the problem of soil that doesn't pass on its nutrients. So now we have to add inorganic fertilizers. Now when you do that, you start to kill all the, all the biological life that's in the soil. And that biological life is actually important to actually build structure. So you'll end up with a really dead substance. And with this method, with the food for wealth method, the most important thing to remember is look after your soil. Because if your soil is well looked after, it will look after you. And the way we look after it is we don't touch it. 
we let it lie underneath. We don't dig it, we don't turn it. We want it to retain that beautiful structure so it can hold nutrients and pass them onto the plants and it can hold water. So the number one rule with this method is no digging. The only way we work the soil is we add layers of compost on the top as a surface mulch onto bare patches. Now, I like to get my bare patches covered the same day if possible, because I just want to keep that soil protected. I want to keep that structure. This is a really important part of the process. Now, in the Food for Wealth method, we're not going to plant in rows, and we're not going to plant one single type of plant to an area. We're going to mostly just mix everything up. There's a good reason for doing this. Firstly, it gives you much better pest protection. Now, pests who eat your crops usually identify them by sight or smell. Now, when you've got everything mixed up, it is very hard for the pest to actually see the specific plant that they like. It just looks like a jumbled mass, and it's impossible for them to smell it because there's too many different conflicting smells. But I've done all the hard work so that you don't have to. Look, just read through the step-by-step -step manual and follow the every step. And if you put in your garden the way I tell you, and you plant your plants the way I tell you, you will actually get, over a few years, this beautiful ecosystem forming. And you will learn so much about ecology that you didn't know just because you're having an intimate relationship with it.